He's the founder of Neff Headwear and has since launched so many successful businesses, including Sunbum, Mad Merch, and recently Moon Oral Care with Kendall Jenner. He is my friend, Sean Neff. Uh, I, I've known Sean for many, many years. Welcome. Nice to have you here. Since you were in high school. I know. We've I've, known I've, each other for a while. I remember when you just started this whole thing selling t-shirts in high school yeah. that just said Neff on them. I mean, that didn't seem like such a brilliant idea, but now looking back... It, it worked out. It was uh, an incredible journey. And for me, right, being so young, my first business, it was just so fun, exciting. It was in the youth culture space. I was young. We were working with from Snoop to Lil Wayne to Kid Cudi to Kevin Durant, Scarlett Johansson. So to me, it was just kind of a dream come true and a place where I cut my teeth in business and learned a lot. And then now, you know, fortunate enough to launch a bunch more, a bunch more businesses. Okay, so wait, you just... Just let me just you see how pick he up did all that? those names yeah, that were just, just dropped. Like that. Drop. But it, what I want to know, I, love that. I want to know. Here's what I want to know is, as like a teenager, you forgot one. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Right over one here. Right here. Right here. Here's one more. Um, Scarlett Johansson. Here yes, you go. Yes, there you go. Um, how does a teenager just starting out in business align himself with? I mean, that just doesn't happen. Wait, wait hang on a second. He started this in high school. That's what I said, okay? a teenager. In high school, he was selling T-shirts out of the back of his car, and and from that. He had a vision. Can we? That's can what you, you let the man talk, Carlos? Right. Jesus, I asked him a question. That's right. You. This is your show. I forgot. <laughs> I asked him a question. <laughs> Tell me. Yeah. So look, it's the ideation was around high school, and then it really got cranking. You know, as a freshman in college, and literally, the uniqueness was I started with T-shirts, right? Mm -hmm. And I just had T-shirts in my backpack. And I would find kids that had like dope sneakers or I thought that looked cool. And I would run up to them and be like, yo, you want to buy a t-shirt? And they're like, huh, I'm just trying to go like science. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, no, you need to buy a t-shirt. So I, I literally started it with just selling t-shirts with my last name on it. But the uniqueness was I was hanging out with the biggest pro snowboarders in the world, right? And, and kind of athletes. I was trying to get them to rock my t-shirt. And they said, dude, I can't wear your t-shirt. I have sponsorship deals with like Nike, Burton, right. Quick. Right. So I said, interesting. And I said, what can they wear? Can I see these contracts? I've never seen a contract. So I read it and I read through these contracts and it said nothing about headwear. So literally the light wow. went off and the true story is I went to a dollar store and I bought the most ghetto headbands and beanies you've ever seen and a Sharpie. And I wrote NEFF on the worst product ever. I showed up at a massive Olympic qualifying snowboard event and I was friends with a lot of these guys. And I was like, hey, as it says nothing in your contract about headwear. So I think you can rock these beanies and headbands. And they were like, oh, maybe I can. Agents were like, I wouldn't do it, but it doesn't say it. And then lo and behold, the guys that won first and third won that contest and kind of blew up. And I found that little niche in headwear and signed up the top surf, skate, snow athletes. And that's what really allowed me to get to the bigger the talent. I found that little unique. See, I, I saw him do this, so I wrote a mesqua on beanies. <laughs> Nobody wants it. Didn't, it. <laughs> it didn't have the same cachet. A but, uh, yeah, no. Like, it just doesn't sound but the same. But see, it's, it's typical of an entrepreneur to find a, a niche. Yeah. But... But Sean, you're clever enough and smart enough to to pivot and maneuver into areas that you knew there was a, an opportunity. But where did this entrepreneurial thing come from? Wow, I don't know. At a, at a very young age, I was always weirdly intrigued with branding. It was always like, A, I knew what it felt for me like to be a, a consumer, right? Like going into high school, like what logo am I gonna rock on my chest? And what does it mean? <laughs> and this means like, who my friends are and what I do on the weekend, what music I listen to. So I was always so intrigued with just what brands meant and the power of like what it meant to be a consumer and like wear a logo or rock a certain brand and how it made you feel. So I think at a very young age, I was always really intrigued with that idea. So for me, like being in high school, I was like, whoa, my dream when I grew up was these brands that I'm rocking that I think are so cool, I would just love to try to do one on my own. And I just kind of had no business experience and I just kind of rolled the dice and just went for it. And I think I love the entrepreneurial spirit when you're young or naive or don't really know too much. Cause I think nowadays it's so like, what's your business plan? What's your strategy? Right. How much capital do you need to raise? Exactly. There's so many things that make you kind of geek out on how you're gonna make this work. But for me, I always say three things, dream, believe and hustle. And like, for me, it was like, even naming it, my last name, I was like, uh, Bob Hurley used his last name. Yeah, well, I right. can use mine, whatever. Yeah. Like, I didn't even think about yeah. it. Interesting. Okay, so we are going to take a quick break. And when we come back, I want to talk about the new 
businesses, all the new babies that you okay. are percolating out there. And I also <laughs> want to understand from you what makes those things cool. Okay. What, what are you looking so for? So that's all good business stuff, but I want to find out about his gold tooth. Well, I also <laughs> want to know about the gold tooth. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back.